Today we're going to be using flakes and inks and CJP acrylic. So let me tell you where I came up with this design. I saw a picture and it had some really bright tips and it was using different coloured shells. So you know the shell effect that you can get on the card and it was lots and lots of those layered up and it was lovely but I thought to myself I know how I can get something just like that using inks. So I've got all my flakes out. I've got like a little mini suitcase and in there's all my pigments and flakes and I got them all out over the carpet, put my favourites back in the case. I knew I would need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of flakes to get the look that I'm after. I knew exactly what I was going to do. I knew what I was going to try to get this effect. So, got the flakes. I knew I was going to use O'Dolly beautiful, beautiful pink shade from CJP. And that's really all it is. So, it's really easy. I'm just going to show you these two nails, but it's the same process for all four. So I'm doing a extra long tapered square nail, popped into my practice hand. I've got O Dolly at the top end and at the bottom I'm coming in with flakes. And I'm going to push that into the wet acrylic using just a wet brush. So I'm making this as flat as I can, as thin as I can on this tip area. Don't want any extra bulk. So I'm going to put the flakes on I'm going to push it into that acrylic and I'm going to keep layering layering it up putting it on coming in with small small lot of flakes and popping it on keeping the sides in making sure it's nice and flat so I'm going to come in with a little bit of clear acrylic on that tip something in which the flakes will stick to I'm going to clean my brush off and then with a wet brush into that pot of raw flakes I'm then going to uh, pick them out and pop them on this nail tip once I'm happy with that I am going to leave that to set and then I will do the other two nails exactly the same so I'm coming in with O'Dolly pop that bead on then I'm going to tuck it in around that cuticle area around the sides move it down and then feather the front of that bead down the tip making sure the sides are in i am going to build my structure and everything with this o'dolly it is a core padder so then all i'll have to do later on is just clear cap the flakes the tip so coming in with another bead of o'dolly i'm going to place that down wipe my brush just going to fit that in at the back and blend that back with the front tip of my brush pull down the sides and then just pull the front of that bead down leaving the majority of that product there for the apex and just make sure it's nice and smooth then i'm going to come in with clear acrylic crystal glass from cjp and i'm going to pop that on the tip this will give something to stick to for them flakes so I'm going to clean my brush off, dip it into the raw flakes exactly the same as I did for the other one. And I'm going to pop them on the tip. See that clump there? And usually that's an issue when you put in raw flakes onto, uh, onto a nail. But in this case, I need to layer it up. I need to get something between the plastic tip, the old dolly acrylic, and it's got to be those flakes. It needs to be layered needs to be uh, nice and thick but still thin and keep it thin 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 luckily these are wafer thinners you all know I mean sneeze or breathe and it goes everywhere guys I'm going to do that on all four nails then I'm going to bring out the uh, 
the alcohol inks. We're going to use Born Pretty. Now, I have at the minute six of the. Well, I have more, but the ones I'm going to use today, there's six. So I'm going to sort them out into colour and what I'm going to put on each. I'm going to put three colours on two of the nails and the other three colours on the other two nails. So I'm going to start off with a little finger. That's all dry. So using the alcohol hink, I'm going to wipe off majority and I'm going to tap, tap, tap. I'm not brushing it on, I'm tapping. That ink will run if you haven't got enough layers of flakes it's going to go onto the clear tip and it's just gonna it's gonna find a it's gonna find a path and i didn't want that so you can't have too much alcohol ink so again we're gonna layer up those colors so i've got a little bit of pink and i'm just gonna put dab it dab 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 just put a few on i can always come back and put some more on then the purple and i'm putting it on those flakes guys honest to god the camera doesn't do this any justice the result is fantastic. I am so chuffed. It looks like pieces of glass. It's so pretty. You can make it as translucent or as dark. And also, you can still see that shimmery... I don't know what you call it. I haven't got words. You know, the flake gives off that, that iridescent shift of colour. You can still see that. It's absolutely amazeballs and I'm so chuffed that having a play around, I came up with this. Now, I've done alcohol inks over uh, foil, you know, the silver foil, the hollow. I will link that at the end of this video for you to have a look at. But I did that then, so it was a rose in holographic silver. And what I did was I went over it with red alcohol ink. So my mind was actually going along that that path when I thought of this. I thought this would be great. So again, I'm just tapping the alcohol ink on. It will find a path down through those layer of flakes, giving you the depth of colour. So you'll have some darker shades, some lighter shades. And what I'm going to do is do three colours. So I'm doing green, blue and is it red and then I'll swap it and on the other nail whatever I'm doing at the tip I'll do in the middle length and then whatever's at the middle length on this one so the green will be at the tip on the pointer finger what I need to do then is let those inks dry fully dry before I can clear cap these nails This will be the final finger then. I'm just going to finish off tapping the alcohol inks into those flakes. They need to be perfectly dry before I will then come in with crystal glass from CJP. Clear cap all four nails here. I will then file and buff them off camera. Ready for the next bit. I have gripper glue from CJP and a few of these beautiful neon gemstones. What I'm going to do is put one of each colour onto the middle of every nail. I do have some clear gems and I'm just going to finish that off by adding those on either side. And there we have it. Now we're going to go in with the top coat. Guys, I'm going to give this a generous layer of non-white top coat and that will then bring out this beautiful glass rainbow effect. Guys, I'm in love with it. I am so happy. So, so happy with this. Guys, then we're coming towards the end of this video. So I really do hope you've enjoyed our little nail play today. 
If you have, would you mind just taking a moment and hitting that thumbs up? Everything that we've used today will be listed below in the description box. So please don't ask me questions about what I've used. Check below, it is all there for you and where I got it from. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye.